A lot of our flyers are not necessarily just flying for luxury reasons, right? A lot of them are flying actually for business. business. Absolutely. So some people do fly for luxury, but we actually have our fair share of business travelers as well. It is somewhat sensitive to economic conditions. Completely. Yeah, and so would you say these are... Ooh, we're in uh, we're in some pretty good times right now for having... for for, for uh, this business. I know you know I know some of your competitors, NetJets. Uh, it really does make a difference, mm -hmm. you know, uh, expendable income and how people feel about the future of the economy. A hundred percent. Yeah, this is a good. We're having a good time right now. The economy is well. Uh, you know, confidence is up, and so we're seeing all of our numbers go up in the right direction. And all of, right now, actually, it's funny. July, we just had our second highest month in company history. Tell me so. how, how it worked, just to, as opposed to, a, I, I don't know, a wheels up or, or any mm -hmm. of the uh, net jets. How does uh, JetSuite work exactly? Sure. So our particular program is not actually membership based. So you give a deposit and from there we just deduct your hours and the dollars from the deposit that you give. Think of it as a debit card, but flying. How, long, flying how big purposes. of a deposit do you have to put down? You can go from 50000 all the way up to a half a million dollars or more. And how many planes, what kind of planes? Yeah, we operate all Embraer aircraft, so we've got the Phenom 100 and the Phenom 300, and uh, we've got well over 23 planes. How many seaters are, I, I, I love the Embraer, um, the little jets that, that the commercial airliners fly, mm -hmm. because it's, they're easier to board, they're easier to, to, to deplane, and they just, they're everything that you need, really. Are these a little smaller than that? Are these, how many seats? Eight, yeah, eight. so our Phenom 100 has four seats, four and seat. our Phenom 300 has seven seats. Has seven seats. Yes. And where could I fly? You can fly, well, you can fly, let's say, hours, because it's probably easier for okay. your listeners. So you can fly up to two hours in the Phenom 100 or four hours in the Phenom 300. Is there a bathroom in the Phenom? There, uh, there is, Joe. There is. In a, okay, <laughs> you know, just, uh, see, Santoli <laughs> might not ask you that, or, or, you know, these young guys. But uh, some of them are not. The new Honda Jet didn't, didn't have a, you There's know. an outhouse. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, Empty bottle. So how will you, you, you have some, um, uh, some investors now, Qatar Airways and, and others. How will you, what, what are your expansion plans? How will, how will that work? Yeah, so we have investors in Qatar you know, Airways as well as JetBlue. And our expansion, what we're going to do with that is really reinvest in our infrastructure and, of course, in our people. Um, and also buy additional fleet, so we've gotten more aircraft on order and on delivery. You know who you, you should probably be, you know, addressing all this to Trenard over oh, there. He's, uh, he wants to buy a bunch of planes. Well, he's just got a lot of money. Uh, he manages money, and I don't. When's the last the last in-flight movie you saw was what Sound of Music? Wasn't it? I mean, what was? Um, when's the last time you were on a commercial plane? I, I fly commercial all the time. I, I fly commercial all the time. But but of course. I think for bit, I think the point that you made before is that there are certain for it's all about time yes. as far as a business person is concerned and when you're going to places that are very difficult to get to mm -hmm. or and or, and the times don't work out it becomes a good um, solution uh, to pick a service uh, like yours but it also seems to me I just want to know it, it doesn't seem like there are a lot of barriers to entry in in your business, if that's, if I'm, I mean, it seems like there's an awful lot to choose from. Mm -hmm. And what, uh, if the economy does t tend to slow down, is there, would you see any sort of consolidation there? Or is that, is that my read of that correct? Or? You, you're absolutely correct. What we're finding in the industry really overall in the past couple of years is, you know, everyone's starting to have a little bit of this and a little bit of that in regards to private aviation. So way back in the day, it may have been that you may have just bought your whole aircraft or just had fractional shares, or just did jet cards. But what we're finding is that the trend is everyone's doing an a la carte. So you may have a jet card as well as a private jet, as well as a fractional share here and there. So what's great about that is as the economy changes, people can literally ebb and flow based on what their needs are. So perhaps they won't need their whole aircraft, for an example. When the economy is tough, they may drop down to a jet card or a fractional share and things of that nature.